what's good welcome back to the channel guys in today's video we're going to be covering that root rider electro titan smash attack we did change a little bit in this army we took one electro titan out put in four valkyries for quick funneling still using three overgrowths three skeletons and two rage spells with the main army and i will say we went perfect on day one with this attack and then we also got some triples in day two until we switched uh, to a different army that I just wanted to try. Trying to switch things up in the first couple days and see what I like best. But the link to the army will be down in the description below. Let's get right into the action. Alright, so we're going to show three replays today using this army in Legends League. And on this one first one we get a box style base got double ricochet cannons up on the other side of the town hall though that is the reason why we elected to come from this area we normally have been using the overgrowth on the town hall and saving that for last but i wanted to start on this side just because of the value we were going to get right away attacking on this base so we're going to have that quick funnel come in barbarian king on one side siege barracks on the other and then the main army right down the middle gonna see right before we get to that town hall compartment we're gonna use that uh ward ability might have been a little early but i had some troops that were starting to separate and i wanted to make sure i captured as many as i could with that healing tome and eternal tome with the grand warden so we're gonna use that rage spell try to get out of that town hall poison as fast as possible with these electro titans and ice golems i went ahead and used that second overgrowth a little bit early on that right side of the base and uh, trap down that single target inferno scatter shot area. And we're gonna leave the Eagle Artillery Monolith uncovered, untrapped. Um, actually, we did trap down the Monolith. So we used it in the three different locations on this one. Um, and we're gonna go back towards that single target inferno, take that out. We're gonna be able to clean up this side of the base and then these electro titans still got three of them alive pretty healthy down here with an ice golem as well actually two ice golems so both ice golems living all the way to the end of the attack and this is why i like the ice golems because we're gonna to get to the very end here and they're gonna get destroyed by this monolith and the monolith and it's just gonna freeze everything so right away monolith gets frozen barbarian king gets frozen everything's frozen down we're able to take out these defenses a little bit quicker here popping the hero abilities and then finishing off the triple so on this one we were a little bit different with the overgrowth we didn't trap the same thing all three times a little bit of flexibility that's why i like the three because you get a little bit of flexibility with that and you can kind of trap down certain areas um i didn't want my troops splitting that's why we trapped on the right side and then i retrapped the monolith and then we had both ice golems still at the end which helps finish off the triples all right on this second attack we have this centralized town hall base we got double rage spell towers in the middle and got a you know this head bottom part is very very heavy compact with some defenses that's why we wanted to send the main army in this area while everything is healthy we could get this destroyed very quickly gonna have that barbarian king start at six o'clock and the siege breaks at two o'clock with an imami get that funnel on the other side very quickly push in this main army and you're gonna see we're gonna use these three sca uh, skeleton spells in this area distract some of these defenses and i went ahead and used the overgrowth on the town hall this time and trapped down the rage spell towers as well so we're going to be able to pick up a lot of value right away taking out the monolith taking out a lot of these heavy hitting defenses and then once we push into the back half of this attack i mean we got some expos to deal with some enemy heroes but other than that two single target infernos we're gonna to have to deal with as well but other than that there's not a ton of damage you know we got the ricochet cannons out of the way got the multi archer towers out of the way got the scatter shots monolith eagle we got a lot of the heavy hitting defenses destroyed very very quickly in this attack you saw that second overgrowth come down in the exact same area trapping down that single target inferno with the town hall as well that way we weren't taking any crazy damage did have to pop that queen ability unfortunately and you're gonna see that third overgrowth come down trap down that town hall teslas but we're gonna leave that single target inferno uncovered that way we could take that out uh, rc ability does get popped a little bit early um unfortunately like to save that for the very end but it's not really gonna matter at this point we still have plenty of electro titans still got 
a couple root riders alive still got an ice golem also which is gonna help us when these troops turn back around and head back towards the town hall this ice golem is going to eventually get destroyed and possibly freeze down but even if it doesn't the ice golem is gonna attack the town hall and slow the town hall down um and that enough that alone is enough and then you're gonna see us finish off the triple down here finally ice golem gets destroyed finish off the triple down here and that is all we needed to do but another reason why i like the ice golem not only do you get the freeze effect when it gets destroyed but you get the slowdown effect just like the frozen arrow with the queen when it is attacking buildings all right on this last triple we're going to show you is this ring style based double invisibility spell tower in the middle and these bases can definitely give you some trouble if you do not funnel properly and use these overrows the right way right away you're going to see barbarian king and a root rider going into this monolith compartment and the king decides to turn around and go the other way and you're going to see siege barracks on the other side had to deal with that enemy clan castle as well we got the skeleton spells down early and then we're going to have the main army pushing up in also our world champion is going to help us take out that monolith thankfully and then to rejoin back the main army right away so you're going to see that first overgrowth come down on the town hall on the invisibility spell tower on the ricochet cannon area uh that first invisibility spell tower is gonna pop and then once that invisibility spell tower is gone we're gonna use that rage top rage spell right there and you're gonna see us push into this part of the base destroy what's left of this area after that invisibility spell tower is done and i want to say the one thing i will say um having three overgrowths for a base like this makes it so much easier I can honestly say um, I didn't think it was gonna make it that much easier but it really did you're gonna see that second overgrowth I purposely did not trap down some of these buildings over here and I did use a rage spell over here with the e mommies and ice golems because I wanted to pick up those buildings as quickly as possible without losing all those troops in the first place so the third overgrowth oh I remember what I did so <laughs> Oh, when I laid down that second overgrowth, your boy's got some fat fingers and I accidentally clicked it twice and we used two overgrowths in the exact same spot. So we didn't actually get the third overgrowth value, but we would have used it on the exact same area and we would have just been trapped down until right about now and then everything would have been uncovered later on after we stood still for a couple seconds and then we would inevitably got the triple anyways. But you know it happens you end up fat fingering some mistakes and either way we're still going to pick up that triple but that's where i would have probably used that overgrowth just to cover the town hall the very last one and then we would have been able to take out the surrounding buildings finish on the town hall and still pick up the triple all right guys that's going to do it for today's video hope you guys enjoyed the content as always i appreciate you guys stopping in on an everyday basis and supporting the channel if you guys want to support the channel even more hit that subscribe button it is completely free and it goes a long way as we continue to try to grow the channel and push up to where we could be a full supercell partner the link to the army will be in the description down below we will catch you next time